present the truth of the gospel, which is the gospel for all people. And so the biography or the, the, the story of the gospel service, amen, it has changed, it has transitioned, but one thing that has remained the same is the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we thank God. I want you to give this committee a great hand that put this together. To these musicians. Some of these musicians go way back like Cadillac seats. <laughs> Some were here when I came on the base in 1982. Amen. I thank God for them, all of them. Amen. Some were just airmen, and, and some were babies. Oh. This barbecue, <laughs> amen, had her hands full, <laughs> keeping them in line. <laughs> and some of them became ministers of the gospel, yes, pastors, and elders. Yes. God has been good. Yes, some were little fellows. When they came out here, I brought my son out here and I grabbed him because he got out in front of the church and I thought he was dancing, but he was imitating uh -huh. Uh -huh. Brother Pettigrew <laughs> on the base. And he was so enthralled and I didn't. I didn't realize that he was trying to get her. I just thought he was dancing in front of the church. And, and I grew up in a sanctified church, and you know, people carry on like that. And I grabbed him, and it, it wasn't until later I realized yeah. that he had his eyes on the pedigree. And so he is an accomplished musician today. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to tell any stories about Everett J. Squire. Okay. And I want, to, I want to encourage you, keep your stories to yourself. <laughs> Somebody said, by the grace of the Lord, we've come a long way. And I can't forget it, amen, Pastor Michael Collier. Amen. I've been told that there are certain things that you carry to the grave. So I'll keep that. <laughs> but God loves you. Amen. And just think of all of the musicians. My, my brother showed up. Amen. He was just kind of dropping in here and there. Uh, Khalid Samson. Amen. If, you, if you've been here for any amount of time, you know the name Samson. Yeah. 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 He, he's the chip off the block right there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And now, some of these people that play in the gospel service, they just came for this occasion, so we thank God. And then I'm saying he, he slipped back in. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Kenneth Mitchell. Yeah. When he first came, he played the piano as much as Mrs. Montague would allow. Because she was the head musician, and she was awesome. And I saw Brother Rob. Yeah. He stuck over there and played for us. And I saw him sitting back over here. He done come all up on front. Amen. Thank God for him. And I know last I heard he was in 
Anchorage? Yes, still. Okay, he's still in Anchorage, and I thank God for him and the ministry and what he imparted here. I want to do something real quick. Uh, anybody here that was here in the 70s, stand up. Amen. Okay, stay standing. Anybody here that came in the 80s, stand up. Those of you that came within the 90s, stand on your feet. And anyone that has been here or came in the 2000s, and that will include from 2001 until the present time, if you came in the last 20 years, stand on your feet. I want you to look around and think about those who came and some have left us. But thank God for those of you that remain to this day among us. Amen. Give yourselves a break. We did not have a service that Duke Air Force Base and say gospel service without particular names. And first of all, we used Chaplain Ratchet, and he was the installation chaplain. Then a young chaplain by the name of Callaway, he came. I don't know if any of you remember him. But he was a comedian. Uh, Y'all can say what you want to say. He would make you laugh. And folks say, it, it, it's no space in the pulpit for that, but I read that laughter does good. Amen. Like a medicine. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And maybe the reason you dealing with that issue you have is because you want to laugh. Say it, say it, say it. But Calloway, yes, sir. he would have us laughing. <laughs> Amen. And then there was a man, a fine man by the name of Lee Montague. Yes, yes, yes. That's all right. And Lee Montague didn't come alone. He brought with him his wife, Shirley. Yes. Her skills and her wisdom. Amen. She, she had wisdom that, that escaped a lot of folks. Uh, she could say something to you, Brother Rob, yes, sir, and she could cut you. <laughs> she could cut you sharper than a paper cut. <laughs> Amen. And you walk away and recognize that you've been corrected. <laughs> And not only that, but she was excellent in music ministry. Musicians get a Sunday what she got a month for playing. And can't read music. I'm gonna leave that alone. But she was such an awesome person. And she would speak into your life. And she would help folks and she stood alongside of Reverend Montague. He came and he put things in place and he allowed people to work. And I can I share this little story about the two of them. He made sure that I continued my education when I came out here. And then she did something interesting because even though I and I preached, I preached about once a month. Yeah, I got to preach once a month. And there were some people who wouldn't come and they knew I was preaching, but they said they preached to them. I'm calling names. If you know who they are, then you know that's cool. But uh, what, what happened was I would preach, and I never got honorarians. The entire time, I never got honorarians. And when Mrs. Montague recognized that 
they didn't get me out of reverence. She enlisted me as an organist. Now, musicians, you, you know better, right? Because anytime they had a special service, she would contract me to sit over there on the organ. I knew enough about music to get maybe every fourth chord right. You know, I knew what a fifth was, and I knew the difference between a major and a minor. Amen. I knew how to play the platonic of the scales and things like that. But she allowed me to be the organist, so they have to give me a check for playing the organ. I knew it wasn't for playing the organ. <laughs> it was for those Sundays that we labored. I've seen that. And so they got great, and we thank God. I want to go to the word of the Lord, but would you do me one more favor? This is a celebration of the yeah. gospel service. Amen. And one of the traditions in the gospel and in the black culture is that when the preacher would get up to preach, we get in usually A flat or maybe uh, C sharp. Okay? And we would sing Amazing Grace. Mm -hmm. Just for old time's sake. Yes, sir. Would y'all help me Amen. sing a little bit of, let's just sing that through one time. Yeah. Uh, somebody give me a key that you can sing in. Amen. Uh, okay, it's C sharp. All right. I call it big C sharp. Amen. Some folks sing it in F sharp. I know one thing is on the black keys. <laughs> and get up to walk out that door. Yeah, yeah. We're going to love one another. That's what Jesus said. He said, you'll know, they'll know that you belong to me because of your love for one another. Our journey, like any journey, has some difficult moments and difficult times. Oh God, can I pray for me? Because we have a time, Elder Guardian, that we came to service and they had put another service following the gospel service yeah. and the folks, they didn't want us. They didn't want us on the sidewalk while they were walking into their service to worship the same God. We had just got through worshiping and we were instructed that we need to clear the sidewalks as soon as our services were over. Oh, y'all, yes, some days, y'all, let me just tell the truth. Yes, sir. We had some difficulties, brother and sister love, because they used to put in the program every Sunday they had, they had how much money each service gave, and even though we didn't have but maybe one or two officers, and really most of the officers wanted to be over here where they could be seen and promoted, but in that little gospel service, every Sunday, you look at the bulletin, and it would give a stewardship report, and the gospel service, who didn't have officers, but had airmen and first church and first sergeants and folks like that. Uh -huh. Their offering and the, mm, their stewardship report would be twice that of this big, beautiful edifice. And so I tell you, we faced some difficulties because one of the things they did was they 
stop putting the report in the bulletin. Oh, God, help us today. We're in a time when people don't want to face the truth. The reality was, was that in the gospel service, not only did we love one another, but we love God. Yeah. And because we love God, we didn't mind giving to the work of God. And no idea where those offerings went. We just put it in the basket and let it go. I came to tell you today that when you love God, oh, bless God, you'll be generous. Yes, you will. I have to close now. We got a few more things to do. But I came to tell us on this journey of of grace and I've already shared that you pick up some passages and you drop on some folks. Folks join you and folks leave you. Some leave by decision but then there are those that leave by promotion. Of course the ultimate promotion is glory to God. One of these mornings won't be very long. You gonna look for me and I I'll be born. I'm going to a place where my mother will be waiting and my father too. And that promotion, I heard that we'll do nothing but walk around, walk around heaven all day. I thank God that the ultimate goal is to see Jesus. I heard the songwriter sing a song and they said, I've learned how to live holy. I've learned how to suffer, live right. I've learned how to suffer. Bless the name of God. But the songwriter kept on singing. But the one thing I know that through all of my suffering, when I see Jesus, when I see Jesus, all of my suffering, all of my pain, all of my struggles, all of my troubles, it will be all over, over, over. And when I see Jesus, amen, amen. Yes, we've come from a long way. We have come from every nation. And somebody said, God knows all of us by name. But we shall all live again one day. A songwriter said, soon and very soon, I'm going to be the king. I'm not rushing nobody. I'm not rushing nobody. I'm sorry. The sound man said he's getting too loud. He shut me down a little bit. Keep me right there. I'll bring it back down. Yes, Yes, and so we know that in this tabernacle, the heartbeat is long. We have a building in heaven, not many with hands. My journey is not over, but I know that, that I'll stand before my Redeemer. Job, he went through it, but he said, yet in my flesh, I will see my Redeemer. I'll see face to face. Abraham died not embracing the promise, but Abraham died in the faith. If I had time, I'd take us down through the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews, but I don't have time. I'll start with Enoch and recognize that Enoch walked with God. He took, yes, he did, steps of faith with God. And I went, if I took time, I'd have to talk about some folks, the Shunammite woman who believed God, and in the face of death, she declared, it is well. This journey of faith is not for the lighthearted. It's not for those of you that are seeking an easy road. But I guarantee you, the songwriter said, it will be worth it all. It will be worth it all. And as the song says, when I see Jesus. Wherever you are. 
in your journey of grace. It's not because you're so wonderful and so beautiful and so big man and have all of it together. Yeah, yeah. It's by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And the new Air Force Base Gospel Service yeah. has withstood the storms. They withstood yeah. those who came and those who left. Yeah. They withstood the difficulties. Difficulties in relationships. Oh yeah. Difficulties. Amen. And assignments. Folks went to jail. But through all of that, they stood. And they continued to preach. Jesus of Nazareth came to tell you today, wherever you are on your journey, hang on in there. Hang on in there. Oh, yeah. I need to ask a question because everybody knows that this journey begins the day that you are saved. Yeah, amen. Paul said, by grace are you saved. Yeah. And that through faith. And if you had faith to believe that Jesus died for your sin, that he was buried and remained in the grave three days, and on the third day, yeah. he stepped yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Of the day. Yeah. Shook the keys of death and hell in the face uh -huh. of Satan. Yeah. He said, I have the key. <laughs> and he that cometh to me, yeah. I won't turn him away. Yeah. And it begins when you confess that Jesus is Lord. Yeah. He died. He rose. Oh, yeah. And that's where your journey began. Amen. If you haven't made that step, you are drifting. You must make a choice. Amen. That's right. And thank God for the grace huh. to believe. Hallelujah. I don't need to ask this day. Is there anybody in this place? You never made the decision to follow Jesus and believe the gospel. I'm asking that because it's that important yeah. that you come to him. Amen. Yeah. It is. It's that important. I need you to do me one favor. If I can't do anything else, it's in on the state evangelist president. I want to commission some evangelists in the pew. Turn to the person next to you. Look them in the eye and say, have you really given your life to Christ? Get an answer. Get an answer. If they don't know, if they're not sure, say, come on, let's go together. They don't have to know which one of us. So let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to praise God. I continue to pray for you. If anybody has somebody that needs to come, bring them. Amen. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Thank God. Yes. This, is, this, this is a simple thing. This is a simple thing. Somebody said it's a simple thing to be saved. Hallelujah. Just believe in your yes, heart yes, yes. and confess with your mind. And then this is what's so awesome about it. God oh, yeah. gives us the assurance of His Spirit. And I have to let you know that when you are born again, Thank you. She's all right. Because when you are born again, 
This is a birth. This is a birth. Your spirit is born of God. You're a brand new person. Hallelujah. Don't let folks get you caught up on what's on the outside. What's in your brain and what's in your mind. You know what God did in your spirit. And let him bring transformation. Would y'all pray with me? If you'll pray with me, sister. Father, y'all can pray too. Father, I believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. He died for my sin. He covers all. He covered all. I thank you that he took my sins away to the grave. And on the third day, he rose and he lives today. I believe that Jesus is alive and I receive him and his life this day. Thank you now. Father, give us a spirit to chase after you, a spirit to love you, a spirit that would hunger and thirst after righteousness, and because your word cannot fail us, I declare this day that in the name of Jesus, I am a child of God. Somebody praise God. Repented 
of those things that God had already made it possible. Amen. Uh, that we could be redeemed. Yeah. Before he wiped everybody out, uh, he had already provided himself a lamb. Hallelujah. And so we're here today to celebrate this gospel service journey. We're here to celebrate those who uh, laid and helped uh, establish uh, the ministry uh, uh, to uh, the African-American community uh, on Luke Air Force Base. Yes. Uh, we're here to celebrate uh, those who stood uh, by the gospel of Jesus Christ and preached uh, in spite of cultural differences. Uh, they preached uh, that there is no other name by which you must be saved. Uh, they preached that Jesus died for our sins. Yeah. He was buried, uh, and on the third day he rose again. <laughs> deny himself Hell. and they preached uh, glory to God that God is able to save to the utmost those that come to him and so today as we celebrate this journey of grace thank God for those who, who labored many who are no longer with us I could call names and I might miss somebody as a matter of fact it would be impossible to name everybody. Yeah. But I can't help us. But remember folks, us yeah. like Chief Grant. Uh -huh. I can't help but remember folks us like Lewis Henry. Us. I can't uh, y'all don't know who I'm talking about. Us. I can't help us but to remember the folks us and some are still with us, us but since I took most of green. Us. I can't help but to remember us. those who worked and labored, us. those who came us alongside of Reverend Montague. Yeah. I have to remember, uh, y'all remember him, Lionel Shields. Uh, he had all those girls uh, and, and, and all those children. Uh, and he uh, and Veronica Shields, and she would sing. Uh, I thank God uh, she led that song. Uh, and I have to remember uh, him uh, as he served. And the reason I remember, remember him uh, is he's the one that uh, said, Preacher, uh, you come and go with me to Luke Air Force Base. And I showed up on an Easter Sunday morning. And I had to stand out on the steps at the back of the... Y'all y'all remember when the service would be so full? The balcony was full, the foyer was full. And I was standing on the steps and looking in. And he preached. And Elder Shields would preach. And he wouldn't close. He would be in high gear and just sit down. <laughs> I can't help but remember him. And then there were those that came after him. I have to remember, uh, praise God, uh, some of the chaplains that came through. As we think about how good God has been. Now the shields left. Some of y'all brothers remember uh, Brother Bruce Smith. Yeah, he could sing and he loved to sing. And he uh, was one of those. But uh, even though I mentioned his name, somebody that I have to bring their name up because he was a choir director. Whenever the choir showed up, and that was Conrad C. Crump. C.C. Uh, Crump, not only did he direct the choir, and not only did he stand there, but he established other things on the chapel. He established the men's fellowship, and he, even though he worked over in the gym, and he worked there, yet he was such faithful to the gospel service. And so we thank God for folks like that. And then, and then, I thank God for my brother. And y'all forgive me, I should have wrote his name down. But I'm just, I can describe him. And, and he had all those children. And he was different. Chaplain Gay. Chaplain Gay.
Chaplain Day was different. Amen. He had those children and, and they had barrettes. All those girls were to be hair in barrettes. And they would have that hair. Amen. The little pigtails with barrettes. But Chaplain Gay, amen, played a vital role in keeping the gospel service on track. Because at that time, they brought in, y'all help me now, but they brought in chaplains that would work with the servants. And they brought in folks that were, oh God help me, they, 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 they were scientists, you know, Christian scientists. And they, they were those that came in with uh, different doctrines. But we stayed true to the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Chaplain K, people like Lionel Shields, and of course Reverend Montague, Chaplain Calloway, because of individuals like that, they paved the way so that when people like Chaplain Jones, Eddie Jones came, and he came as a young chaplain, as a matter of fact, when he came, this was his first chaplaincy, coming out of chaplaincy school, and what he was. That's what he was.
choir for letting me be part of your history. Yeah. I love all of you. Now, there are some who are here who've been here, who've gone on to be with the Lord. But the one thing that I can say, that last song is our testimony. Yeah. If you miss me from singing down here, yeah. I'm going to serve for the rest of my life. Come hell or high Lord. I'm gonna serve him till I can't serve no more. I'm gonna hear him say, well done, well done. That good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up a little higher and I'll make you ruler over me. Come on and clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you.
period of celebration. Uh, I'm new to this community. I just started here in July, so maybe this is good timing. I get to celebrate. I get to see what this is all about. Father, Son, and 